Hi students. In the previous video, so we learned about how can we perform operations with vectors uh, by graphing. So when we add uh, vectors by graphing using the parallelogram or the head-to-tail method. And today what we are going to do is to complete that lesson by performing operations with vectors algebraically. So the first thing that we are going to see is what happens when we multiply a real number by a vector. A vector being multiplied by that real number, so we call that operation multiplying a vector u by scalar k. So when k is a scalar. So how do we perform the multiplication of a vector by a scalar? So using the distributive property. So that is k multiplying the components, angle brackets, or u1, comma, u sub 2. So then the product of the scalar and the vector is KU comma K U sub one comma K U sub two. Okay, so let's say one example. So let's say that the scalar K is three, the real number three, and the vector U in component form is negative one comma three. So what is the product of KU? What is the product of the scalar times the vector U is three times the vector u in component form negative one comma three okay u is negative three comma nine and that is the resultant that is the product of the scalar and the vector u Alright, so we saw adding and subtracting vectors graphically. Now we are going to do it algebraically. And let's say that we have a vector V. 2 comma negative 3 and a vector u negative 1 comma 2 and we are going to perform addition and subtraction so then the addition of those two vectors plus negative 1 comma negative 3 plus 2 so then the component 2 plus negative 1 is just 1 and negative 3 plus 2 negative one and that is the sum of the vectors v 
and you. The difference V minus U two comma negative three minus negative one comma two the difference of V and U is two minus negative one comma negative three minus two so the difference of those two vectors negative two minus negative one is two plus one three and negative three minus two is negative five and that is the difference of those two vectors So we can perform more than one operation on vectors and that's what we are going to see next. In the same way, when we are performing more than one operation with real numbers, so we have to follow the order of operations. Example. Given the vector u comma seven in component form and the vector v three comma one now we are going to perform the following operations the product of three and u minus the product of four and v So that means that we are going to multiply the vector u by the scalar 3. And then we are going to subtract the product of 4 and the vector 3,1. So remember, multiplication first, then addition or subtraction. So 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21, minus 4 times 3 is 12, and 4 times 1 4. Now we are going to perform the subtraction. 6 minus 12 comma 21 minus 4 6 minus 12 is negative 6 21 minus 4 is 17 so then the answer for that question is the resultant vector negative 6 comma 17 thank you for your attention